Hi, South Point Online, Tracy here. I wanted to come on and talk with you for a couple of minutes about anxiety. Pastor Matt has been given a sermon series for a couple of weeks now called Anxious for Nothing, and he has given us some excellent, practical, real life, uh, really applicable steps of how to step away from anxiety, turn away from worry, and put our hope and our trust in the Lord. Uh, and he has also talked about how uh, when he's talking about anxiety in this setting, it is situational anxiety, it is worry, it is uh, things that we can choose uh, to set aside. And he has specifically said he is not speaking about mental illness, uh, depression, and clinically diagnosed anxiety. And so if you'll allow me to be a little bit transparent here, a little bit vulnerable here, I'd like to share with you a little bit of my own experience. I am a person who loves Jesus Christ and seeks to serve him and follow him in all of my ways. I am also a person who is diagnosed with uh, clinical anxiety and I do take an anti-anxiety medication daily. Um, and so I want to tell you, you can be a follower of Christ and a person who struggles with mental health. Uh, having a mental health struggle does not mean you have not placed your faith in Jesus Christ. It does not mean you are not doing it correctly. Um, I believe that God works for our good. Uh, we know that in Romans 8, the Bible says, in all things, God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Uh, my personal belief is that God has allowed wisdom for scientists and for doctors to create medications uh, that can allow for wellness for our bodies, both physically and mentally. Um, and so I believe that uh, God has known that we would struggle in some ways uh, and has allowed for medications to be created to um, balance the chemical imbalance that causes mental illness, anxiety, and depression. So if you think you might be someone who struggles with anxiety uh, that is bigger and larger and darker and heavier than um, momentary worry uh, and um, anxiety that you're able to set aside, I want to ask you to consider two things. Would you consider speaking with a counselor? Uh, I can highly recommend in Southern Maryland Life Christian Counseling. I have used one of their counselors uh, and have been very um, pleased with with uh, the services I received. Uh, also, I know there are tons of counselors around our area and all over the country um, that would um, be highly skilled and qualified in helping you and supporting you. Uh, additionally, I know in this time when we're supposed to be staying in our homes as much as possible, there are new developments online. I believe there's a, a program called Talkspace that is uh, will set you up with a counselor online that you can text with or video chat with. And I believe there are some other online platforms as well that provide those same services. So I want to encourage you to speak to a counselor. Um, you may also want to consider speaking to your doctor about if a medication would be appropriate for you. And that is only a decision you and your doctor can make together. I want to encourage you that you do not need to stay in darkness. You do not need to um, feel as though your faith is not enough and that you are failing um, because that is not the truth. That is not the truth. God works for our good uh, and he has created, allowed us um, to have programs and systems and medications in place to help us come out of the darkness and step into the light. Um, let me pray for us today. Father God, thank you that you have created us. Thank you that you know us better than we know ourselves. You know the inner workings of our hearts and of our minds. And God, you want wellness and you want good for us. God, if there is someone today that is needing to step out of the darkness, that is needing to step away from anxiety, but needs some support to do that, would you give them the courage to seek out a counselor, to seek out their doctor? Um, and God, um, would you uh, allow them to know that there is no shame in mental illness? Um, God, would you um, put it on their hearts to seek out the help that they may need um, to 
be able to come into physical and mental wellness. God, we thank you that you are the author and creator of life and that you work for our good. God, we love you, we trust you, we place our hope in you today and every day. We love you, Father. In your name we pray, amen.